our lessons in neutralization but before we do that we are going to um, discuss the exercise given from the last lesson okay we will do this quickly so please open your module and please write uh, mark your work with me so are you guys ready yes Yes, teacher. All right. So let's start with um, exercise 37. Okay, exercise 37. Okay, the fact that I give you the, this exercise, meaning that this exercise is... Um, Sorry about that. Okay, uh, meaning the exercise is important for you guys to um, master. Okay, so write a balance equation for neutralization reactions. So you have to find the chemical formula for the salts uh, or the alkali. So for for E. Our salt is potassium chloride. chloride. Good, potassium chloride. Okay, you should know how to write down the formula. Chloride Cl minus potassium K plus. So just B. It is sodium nitrate. Okay, we start with um, D first. Nitric acid plus ammonia, ammonia aqueous. Okay, uh, like I said before, ammonia aqueous, um, most of it uh, still um, exists as ammonia molecule, NH3, but some of it exists as ammonium hydroxide. Okay, so you can, um, you can uh, know that in ammonia, the in ammonia aqueous aqueous ammonia, there are some ammonium ions present. Which for ammonium ions present, so ammonium ion with nitrate ions, you will get ammonium nitrate. Okay, water. Okay, our product will always be salt and water. You get the same, the same answer as me. Yes. Yes. yes, this is uh, A, B, and D is the um, easy one because your uh, equation is already balanced. Okay, because the ions that exist is uh, just plus or minus one only. So it's already balanced. For C, it's different. Okay, for C, it is uh, diprotic acid, sulfuric acid. The ions is... H plus and sulfate SO4 2 minus. So when there are different charge of ions, you have to be careful and make sure that your chemical equation is balanced. Okay, so for now we have to um, figure out what is the alkali. So what is our alkali? Alkali must have what? Must have what ion? Hydrogen. Hydroxide. 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 Yes, it must have hydroxide ions. So, okay. How about the cation? The cation is? Sodium. Sodium. So, our alkali is sodium hydroxide. But it is not um, balanced. Okay, it's, uh, is it balanced? No, it's not balanced. Why? We have two hydrogen here, one sulfate ions. We have one nitrogen, one oxygen, one hydrogen. Here we have two nitrogen, eh, sorry, two sodium, one sulfate ion, two hydrogen, and one oxygen. So the one that is not balanced is our sodium and eh, our sodium. So how to uh, balance? So we write down two in front. 
So now we have two oxygen, two hydrogen. So our hydrogen from this side is now four. Okay, two from here, two from here. Our oxygen is two. So we just have to put two in front here so that we have four hydrogen and two oxygen. So now it is balanced. Okay, so make sure your chemical equation is balanced. Can we move on? Yes. All right. This one. Um, exercise 38. A farmer discovered that his vegetables were not growing well because the soil was poor and acidic. Okay, as a chemistry student, you can help the farmer suggest how the farmer can overcome the problem. It's two marks. So distribute. What should the farmer distribute? The soil is acidic, so what should you do? What should you um, add? Alkali. 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 So distribute alkaline lime powder lime powder to the soil because lime powder is alkaline next to what to reduce the to reduce the acidity of the soil and it is also increase the nitrate ion and it absorb by the root when dissolved in water. Okay, nitrate is uh, good for plants. But the, the main point is these two, okay? You have to distribute alkaline lime powder to the soil. Actually, you have to write down one important word here. To reduce the acidity of the soil by neutralizing it. Neutralizing it. Okay, this is the important word. Okay, alkaline, neutralize and acidity. You must have this. These words. Next one, B. The sting of a jellyfish is alkaline and causes pain. So just one substance. Okay, so one substance is one mark. That can be applied to the skin to relieve the pain without causing further injury. Give three reasons. So the, your reasons is three. So your uh, suggestion of substance is? Vinegar. Vinegar or? The name? Ethanoic acid. Yes, ethanoic acid. So vinegar of ethanoic acid is your suggested uh, suggested substance. And what are your reasons? Your reasons would be the substance is weak acid. A weak acid. Okay, so it can neutralize. Neutralize. Okay, like I said, this is an important word. Neutralize the alkali. And the last one does not produce too much heat. Or it will it won't become um it will become less corrosive because um, uh, what name? alkaline can also be corrosive as well. Okay, that causes the pain. So when we added some weak acid, it can neutralize the alkaline and it will um, be making the uh, pain uh, lessen, lessen the pain. Okay, so that is your three, three reasons. Okay, next one, the last one is our exercise, is la exercise 39. 
Diagram 39 shows the setup of apparatus for titration of potassium hydroxide solution with sulfuric acid. Okay, potassium hydroxide solution with sulfuric acid. You have to know what is uh, used. So what is our standard solution here? Zero point one mole sulfuric acid. Good. Sulfuric acid is our standard solution. Okay. So we want to know the volume of the standard solution and the concentration of the the other solution. So it was observed that twenty centimeter cube of zero point one mole. Oh, did I bagi dah? Volume is fifty centimeter cube. Okay. Did I buat experiment? Dia dapati 50 cm3, eh sorry, 20. 20 cm3 of 0.1 mole sulfuric acid is needed to neutralize completely 50 cm3 of potassium hydroxide solution. State the color change of the solution in the conical flask at the end point. Okay, what is the color? What? Sorry? White Sorry, I can't hear you. Again, please. Colorless. Colorless. Okay. Um, if you use white, it is wrong. Why wrong? Because if it's white, dia akan jadi macam air susu. Okay, but if it's colorless, dia akan jadi macam air masak. Nampak beza air masak dengan air susu? Ada beza kan? Right? Distilled water and milk. Ha, ada beza. Milk is white. Distilled water is colorless. So, please use colorless. Okay, good. So, but one thing is when the question asks you color change, um, familiarize yourself or uh, make yourself um, um, used to uh, tell the color before and after. Okay, so you have to say the color before to after pink to colorless because the question asks you to give the color change. Okay, so at the end point, the color change from pink to colorless. Okay, so if you write down colorless only, it might, uh, you, you can get a point sometimes, but sometimes when the uh, scheme, my scheme is a uh, streak, you can't get the uh, the one mark because you didn't write the color before. Okay, so before the color of the phenolphthalein and potassium hydroxide is pink because pink is for alkaline, alkaline solution. The color for phenolphthalein when it is in alkaline. When it's come to neutral, it will come colorless. So, get used to writing before and after for color change. Okay, boleh? Alright, next Bole. one. State the name of the salt form. Okay, they not name. Name of the salt form. So, potassium hydroxide plus sulfuric acid. What is your salt? Potassium sulfate. Good, potassium sulfate. You have to write down the name. Potassium. Spell it. P-O-T-A-S-S-I-U-M-S-U-L-P-H-A-T-E. Then it's, you got it right. If you write down potassium sulfate KUSO4, is it wrong or right? Will you get mark or not? Wrong. Wrong. Oh. You won't get any mark because this is formula. The question asks for the name of the salt. So be careful. Uh, read the question carefully, okay? Next one, C. What is the type of reaction occurred? What is, what is the type of this reaction? Acid plus Neutral. Apa? Nathaniel, can you please uh, turn your mic off? Thank you. 
Yes, neutralization. Neutralization reaction. Good. Write a chemical equation. Okay, so chemical equation, you write down potassium hydroxide plus sulfuric acid and you got potassium sulfate plus water. Make sure your um, equation is balanced as well. If you got all the chemical formula correct, this one, this one, this one, this one, you only get one mark. Another one mark is when your chemical equation is balanced. So we have 2K here. So we put K in front. So now we have 2 oxygen and 2 hydrogen. 4 hydrogen. So another 2 here. So then it will become um, balanced. Okay. Done. For our exercise yesterday. So today we are go uh, Sorry, not yesterday. Last. Last class. So today we are going to continue. Where is it? With our here neutralization. Where do we left? Where? All right. Here, yeah. so we already uh, watched the video for uh, titration yesterday. Okay, so today we are going to continue with the calculation. How to get the concentration. Yesterday, we did the experiment. Okay, we did the experiment and we have the results here. Let's say the result rough hari tu. Um, start with 0. Final bureau 20. 3. Lepas tu, volume use is 23 lah. Then, initial 23, final uh, 47. So, the use is 24. Next, start with 0 as well. You get 23. So, 23. Okay, let's say this is your result from uh, the the from the experiment. Okay, from the experiment. Okay, uh, this is your initial reading, your final reading, and then. Uh, the volume of nitric acid use is when you minus final with your initial reading. So, let's say here. Next, we want to, now we got the volume of uh, nitric acid. Okay, this is the acid-based titration for nitric with nitric acid with potassium hydroxide. Okay, and you will get potassium nitrate and water. Ya Allah. And water. Okay, so now we already got the volume of um the volume of nitric acid and we already given the molarity for nitric acid is 1.0 mol per dm cube, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, we want to know the concentration of potassium hydroxide. The volume for potassium hydroxide use is 25. Betul. This is from yesterday, uh, last class. Okay. So now, kita dah tahu molarity nitric acid. Kita dah tahu volume potassium hydroxide. Okay. Our aim is to find this one. Concentration of potassium hydroxide. Tapi apa yang uh, the the information that we got from the experiment is the volume of uh, nitric acid. So we have to calculate, okay, using the information to get the concentration of potassium hydroxide. Okay, so now we are going to do it step by step. First one, what is the average volume of nitric acid needed? So you just calculate twenty four plus twenty three plus twenty four divided by three. So the the Average volume is thirty-four percent. 
The average is 23.67 cm cube. Okay, next, done. Okay, after we got, we, uh, we will find the average from the three readings that we got here. And the average is 23.67. Next one, write the ionic equation for the reaction. So, ionic equation for neutralization will always be H. Hydrogen ion plus hydroxide ions to get water. Okay, done. Calculate the number of mole of nitric acid needed in this neutralization reaction. So this is number three. Number one. Calculate the number of mole of nitric acid. So number of mole of nitric acid is uh, what formula should we use, everyone? Nitric acid is a solution. So what formula should we use to find the number of mole? Number three. Yes, uh, what is the formula to find the number of mole? Molarity times volume. Good. Molarity times volume. And if the volume is in uh, centimeter cube, we have to divide it by 1,000. 1,000. Good. So we plug in the value. Molarity is 1.0. Volume is? What volume should we use? What volume should we use? What is the volume for nitric acid that we have got from the experiment? 1.0 mole. Okay, 1.0 mole is the molarity. Good. What is the volume of nitric acid? 23.67 Good, okay So this volume comes from our experiment Okay Because our experiment can find the volume of nitric acid So from these three, three readings We find the average Kat number one tadi kan So this is the volume of nitric acid used So that is why we put this value 23.67 divided by 1000. So you will get what is the number of mole? 0.02367. mole. Next, then. Number 4. Calculate the number of moles of potassium hydroxide solution needed to react completely with the number of mole of nitric acid. Okay, so from the equation. Okay, from this equation, 1 mole of uh, 1 mole of nitric acid react with 1 mole of potassium hydroxide. So, if 0 0.0237 mole of nitric acid is used, so what is the number of mole of potassium hydroxide? What is the number of mole of potassium hydroxide? We are doing the relationship here. The mole relationship. One mole of nitric acid react with one mole of potassium hydroxide. So if we use 0 0.0237 mole of nitric acid, how many mole of potassium hydroxide do we need? 
zero by zero. Zero point zero what? Two three seven mole. Good. Zero point zero two three seven mole. Okay, it is the same. Oh, potassium hydroxide because from the equation, the number of mole used is the same. One mole hydronitric acid, one mole potassium hydroxide. So if we use zero point zero two three seven, potassium hydroxide one zero point zero two three seven. Now we want to determine the molarity of potassium hydroxide. So how can we find the molarity from the number of mole? What formula should we use? Yes, the same one. So, MV over 1000 equal to number of moles. So, now we want to find the molarity. So, M is equal to mole times 1000 divided by volume. So, number 5 is molarity of potassium hydroxide is 0 0.0237 mole times 1000 divided by volume of potassium hydroxide. Volume of potassium hydroxide is 25. So press your calculator. It will be 0.948 mole per dm cube. So this is your concentration of Potassium hydroxide. Now you got the concentration of potassium hydroxide by using calcu calculation, these steps of calculation. Boleh faham? Boleh. Good. So, let me recap. Okay, so the titration, the acid-base titration is used to find the concentration of an unknown solution. Okay, but you didn't, you don't get the concentration directly. You will only get the volume of the, the volume of one of the solution dulu. From the volume of one of the solution, barulah you calculate to find the, the other concentration of the solution. Okay, so that is how. Now we will get into a calculation for neutralization. We actually have a simpler way to find concentration uh, for acid base, uh, acid and base reaction for neutralization only. Okay, neutralization only. Baru kita boleh bagi guna formula ni. Okay, and the formula is. MAVA over MAVB is equal to A over B. Okay. This is for on neutralization only. If A mole of acid A is completely neutralized by B mole of alkali B, then the formula is used to solve the calculation related to the neutralization ratio here. This is the most important part. Okay. Neutralization only. So let's see what is MA, what is VA. Okay, first, we you only can get this from chemical, from balance, uh, from balance chemical equation. Okay, this is important. From balance chemical equation. Okay, so from the balance chemical equation, so this is our balance chemical equation. Okay, the mole in front acid is A for acid. The mole in front B is a mole for alkali. Okay, so the MA is molarity of acid. Molarity of acid. So what is our molarity of acid? Ah, uh, so that is MA. Okay, VA is the volume of acid. Okay, VA volume acid. Okay, 
MB is molarity of alkali, while VB is volume of alkali. Equal to A over B. Okay, A is the mole in front acid, while B is the mole in front alkali. Okay, usually, okay, the A and B is one. But sometimes there are cases when you use diprotic acid or triprotic acid, the A and B is not one. Okay, because uh, you will have um, different number in front of acid and alkali. You have to balance the equation. So A and B is not one. So you have to use, you have to know the balanced chemical equation. Okay, so this is the equation. So let's. Okay, let's use that in, that uh, equation for our data from our experiment just now. Nak tengok sama tak? Okay. So, our aim is to determine the concentration of potassium hydroxide. Okay. So, our experiment tadi is for... Uh, uh, our equation for experiment is nitric acid plus potassium hydroxide. So, this is our acid. This is our alkali. Okay. Is this uh, equation balanced? Yes, it's already balanced. Okay, it's already balanced. So, um, from our um, <coughs> from our information uh, for our experiment uh, last class, we know that the concentration of acid is one point zero mole per dm cube. Okay, and uh, the volume of acid. Yang kita nak tahu when we do the experiment. The molarity of base is uh, the one that we don't know. The, that we want to, that we want to calculate, determine. The volume of B is 25 centimeter cube. Okay, ni semua daripada experiment last class. Do you still remember? Ada tak orang yang tertanya-tanya, what? Daripada mana cikgu dapat ni? Ada tak nak tanya? Ada. Okay. This is from our experiment hari uh, last uh, our acid based experiment. Our acid based experiment hari tu kan guna 1.0 mol per dm cube of nitric acid and reacted with 25 centimeter cube of potassium hydroxide. Okay, our aim of experiment, our aim ni aim of experiment to find the concentration of potassium hydroxide. Okay, but from the experiment, we can only get the volume of nitric acid only. Kan? The volume of nitric acid only. Okay, kalau nak patah balik, let's see. Ha, yang ni. Okay, kita guna 1.0 mol per dm cube of nitric acid. And we use 25 centimeter cube of potassium hydroxide dalam ni. We know the concentration of acid. Ni, our known concentration is acid. Okay, we don't know the concentration of alkali. We want to find the concentration of alkali. So, concentration for alkali, we don't know. But we only know the volume of alkali. And this, this, for this um, experiment is to find the volume of acid. Boleh? Ingat lagi tak? Ingat. Okay, so, Ingat. so kita patah balik tadi. Okay, that is where we got our... Um, our information here. So, daripada eksperimen tu, uh, kepada pengiraan kita tadilah, 24, 23, 24 kan? Okay. So, we know that the volume of acid, uh, ni daripada sini. So, 24 plus 23 plus 24 divided by 3 is equal to 23.67 uh, centimeter cube. Okay. So, we got our MA Uh, kita tulis dulu. MAVA over MBVB equal to A over B. 
So now we have MA. We know what MA is. And from the experiment, we know the VA. Okay? From the experiment also, we know the VB. We want to find MB, right? Concentration of potassium hydroxide is our MB. So MB is what we want to find. What is A? A and B is from the chemical equation. Can someone please tell me what is A and what is B? Can someone tell me what is A and what is B? Tengok balik atas ni, A apa, B apa? A is nitric acid. Ah, uh, What is the number for A? Um, coefficient. Yes, what is the coefficient from the chemical equation? One point zero. A is this thing here. B is this uh the mole in front of alkali. So from this chemical equation, what is the mole of nitric acid? Ada nombor tak depan nitric acid tu? No. No. So no, it means nombor berapa? One. One. Yes. So A is one. How about B? Ada nombor tak depan potassium hydroxide? Tak ada. Tak ada. No. So it means number berapa? One. 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 Good. So now we have A and B as well. Boleh faham? Boleh, boleh. Ha. So, mm -hmm. our MB now, okay, sekarang kita rearrange our formula. Okay, when we rearrange our formula, okay, kita buat sesuatu lah kan. Okay, aku tak tahu mungkin. So, when we bring MA, VA over VB is equal to A over B times MB. So, MB is MABA over VB divided by A over B. So, kita plug in our value. MA is 1.0. VA is 23.67. VB is 25. Divided by A is 1, B is 1. 1 over 1 is 1. Okay. So, tekan calculator terus. 1 times 23.67 divided by 25 divided by 1. 0 0.9468 mol per dm cube. Sama tak dengan jawapan kita tadi dekat atas? Sama. Sama. Okay. Sama. Maksudnya, this is the... Okay, kalau kita tengok tadi ni. Yang ni... Dengan yang bawah ni sama. Okay. So this is the easiest way untuk find, to find, uh, to do calculation for neutralization. Okay. So for neutralization only, you can use this formula because it is quicker. Okay. It is quicker. Provided that you know the chemical equation, the balanced chemical equation. If you don't know the balanced chemical equation, chemical equation that you cannot find the A and B so you cannot put the value of A and B inside the formula. Is it clear now? Yes. 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 Let's, let's take a look for uh, two more examples and then we will finish our class. Two more examples. So calculation for neutralization. Okay, terus tulis siap-siap our formula that MAVA equal to MBVB. 20 cm cube of 0 0.25 mole per dm cube of sodium hydroxide solution. So this is our alkali. Okay, is neutralized with 0 0.2 mole per dm cube of hydrochloric acid. So this is our acid. Calculate the volume of hydrochloric acid. So sekarang ni. Needed for this neutralization reaction. So first, if we want to use this formula, we have to write down the chemical equation first. Balance 
chemical equation. So write down sodium hydroxide and AOH plus HCl and you will got for this uh, you will got sodium chloride plus water. Na plus OH minus H plus Cl minus. So semuanya sama um, charge. So this is already balanced. So what is our A now? A is what? One. Good, one. How about B? One. One as well, good. Next one, one is our alkali. MB. What is our MB? From the from the question, from the question, what is our molarity for our S alkali? Zero point two. Molarity for our alkali B B B B. Zero point two five. Zero point two five. Zero point two five mol per dm cube. Good. Kena betul eh. M B ni daripada sini alkali. So V B volume of our alkali. Zero point two. Twenty. 20 centimeter cube. How about our molarity of our acid? Acid. Molarity of our acid? 0 0.2. 0 0.2, 0.2 mole per dm cube. Okay, and the question want us to find volume of acid. So, this is our things that we need to find. So, plug in the value. Terus masukkan dalam formula. MA 0 0.2. VA we don't know. MB is 0 0.25 VB 20 equal to A1 B1 ok so tekan calculator so 0 0.2 VA is equal to 5 betul yang ni darab naik atas kan darab bersilang kan so VA equal to 5 over 0 0.2 VA equal to 25 apa? Unit. What is our unit for volume? Centimeter cube. Good. Centimeter cube. Okay. Boleh faham? This one. Boleh. Boleh. Senang kan? Okay. The, 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 the way to find um, the molarity and volume for acid and base is very easy if we use this formula. Okay, but like I said, this formula can only be used for neutralization between acid and alkali only. Untuk bahagian lain, you cannot use this one. Okay, kalau guna, confirm salah. Alright, last one. Calculation for neutralization. Okay, 4.05 gram of zinc oxide. Okay, is needed to complete the neutralization of 50 centimeter cube of nitric acid. Calculate the concentration of the acid in mole per dm cube. Okay, now you don't have MA. Okay, now kita ada VA, volume of acid. And the question one, MA. But now you don't have um, MB and VB. Okay, because zinc oxide is solid. Solid don't have MA, don't have VA. So, you cannot use this, um, you cannot use this uh, formula anymore, okay? Walaupun saya cakap is for neutralization only, yes, but it's only, it can only be used when you uh, react acid with alkali. So, zinc oxide is a base, okay, because it is in solid form. So, awak tak ada MBVB. Macam mana nak guna formula ni? So, you cannot use this one. Kena kita guna cara biasa. So, cara biasa is, the first one, kena guna stoichiometry. Sebab tu, benda ni penting. First one, we have to find, uh, we have to write down the formula, uh, chemical equation. Zinc oxide plus nitric acid is equal to zinc nitrate plus water. Balance, which is com of course not balance. So 2 in front here, 2 in front here. 
to hydrogen and one zinc one one oxygen one zinc one oxygen two hydrogen two hydrogen one nitrate eh sorry two nitrate two nitrate okay then balance next one um, the given information is for zinc 4.05 gram and the wanted information is our acid the concentration for our acid so our zinc is A acid is B first we have to always find the number of mole of zinc oxide so for solid number of mole is mass over molar mass so mass is 4.05 divided by molar mass 65 plus 16. 65 plus 16 14.05 by 16. So we will get 0.05 mole. So this is the first step. Second step, the mole relationship. Mole relationship, the first one is from the equation. So from our equation... One mole of zinc react with two mole of nitric acid. Okay, dapat mana ni? Ha, ni. From our equation. Second, second sentence is from our calculation. So, 0 0.05 mole of zinc oxide. Okay, react with 2 times 0 0.05 divided by 1. 0 0.1 mole of nitric acid. So that is point number two. So number three, the question wants the concentration. So concentration of nitric acid, okay, if we use this formula, Mb over 1000 equal to mole. So our concentration is, M is mole times 1000 divided by V. So, here is our mole. 0 0.1 mole times 1000 divided by volume. The volume is 50. 0 0.1 times 1000 divided by 50. 2 mole Per dm cube. Okay, so this is another way to, okay, this is the uh, usual way to find, uh, to, to solve any calculation using stoichiometry. Okay, you have to remember the steps. The stoichiometry always have three steps. The first one is find the number of mole of the given information substance. Second one is do the mole relationship between the given substance and the substance that we want to find. The third one, using the number of moles of the substance that we find, we will uh, find the um, what question wants from the substance. So far, any question now? No. No others? No. No as no. well.